Okay, now like yeah, enough people have joined. We can begin the session. Uh, so this module that we are releasing basically combined geoscientist mains exam. We'll go through it uh, in a while. We'll just basically uh, see like what what exactly uh, is that that exam pattern look looks like and uh, what what is the overall timeline? How many months are left? Okay, in your preparation and how do you strategize during these months? So we'll go through a few of these things, okay? And that that is very very important because right now, like you see, for GSI mains exam, okay. So if you look at the syllabus, GSI main syllabus is quite extensive, okay. And now you have like you have to do like what intense three three and a half months of intense preparation, okay. You have to be very very strategic about it. Uh, some of you might be you who who are like uh, who have been preparing for the past one year keeping GSI means in mind, there will definitely be some who would have cleared prelims and now they would start to think about means. So we will have a wide variety of students also. So your strategy will depend on that also a little bit. Okay. So what, what parts you have to focus on. So uh, first like a brief introduction about planet geology. Uh, planet geology, basically we are the top geoscience uh, exam focused institute in India. Uh, and over the like we we started in 2019 okay and uh, end of 2019 and within like last three year uh, period uh, it was like later half like september october that we first first started our batch within like this three year period we have delivered several uh, results both geoscience related exam as well as upsc civil services related exams indian forest services related exams okay and we have like really the top faculty in India. So most of the uh, teaching is uh, done by me and, and Mayank sir. Uh, Mayank sir also handles the general studies part. Okay, he's the lead uh, in, in, in that regard. And uh, besides that, uh, you will find few lectures from other faculty members who are themselves like really top rated. Okay, so who, who have themselves like for example uh, got top ranks in the GSI exam so we have a really good faculty we have really good content overall and and we have delivered result in such a short uh, time frame okay so this slide uh, basically shows you some of the format the way in which basically content is available on planet geology platform okay so one type of uh, content that, we, that you will find is in handwritten notes format. Okay, so it is in handwritten notes format. Okay, some not all. Okay, and the idea is because many times when you study from slides, okay, a lot of things you find it a little bit hard. So I'm, I'm just uh, telling a little bit about planet geology only at this stage. Okay, we will we'll go through like strategy also. So we, we have this content that, that is available in handwritten notes format. Okay. And sometimes even like if, if, if a question is asked how to write your answer regarding that. So these things are there in slides also, but it is also not possible to have entire syllabus, especially that you have for GSI mains in, 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 in notes format, because when you're teaching, you have to teach, uh, some, some, uh, things which, which feed into this part. Okay. So, a lot of content is also uh, available in the slides and PDF format like this, which, which you have to go through on planet geology. And then we also, in addition to these, we also provide uh, support like PYQ compilation. Uh, also like where direct answers are not given. We have, uh, we have basically discussions of let's say GSI means previous year questions also. Okay. So those things are also available. And similarly, uh, if you're preparing, let's say for assistant geologist exam or other examinations, we have like PYQ based uh, courses also, which are uh, from GSI. Let's say that there was GSI prelims PYQ course. Okay. Which, and, and then there was gate PYQ course. So combining these course also, you get like enough practice of questions that you can attempt uh, papers like uh, assistant geologist exam or even bark exam. Okay. Okay, so let's coming back to the UPSC uh, mains examination. So you can see here the mains examination is scheduled for. Yes, Mayank sir, any uh, comments? I think uh, it, it is scheduled from 26th yeah. of June, right? 24th like of this. June. Oh, 24th of June. Yes. 
24th of june 24th so you can see in upsc calendar so 24th of june okay is your mains examination and this on saturday okay and then duration of examination is 2 days so that gives you so 24th of june is basically almost towards the end of the june okay so it gives you definitely like 3 and a half more than 3 and a half months of intense preparation time okay but again Three and a half months for GSI preparation. You shouldn't think like it is uh, too much. Okay, so from today itself, okay, or maybe uh, from tomorrow, what you have to do is you have to be very, very intensely involved in your preparation. Daily, you have to spend a lot of time, and no matter like what exam you are preparing, you have to go through that stage in exam. Okay, maybe like if if you then appear for like let's say by by chance. you are not able to clear this year many times what will happen is students will think like even in the last month that that now nothing can be done first of all even if you want to get it clear like this year okay even if you have not started your preparation you have to maintain that intensity okay it has two advantages first of all it will increase your chances of clearing it this year only because 50% of the students who qualify prelims they will just give up that it is it will not be possible okay although you have cleared prelims okay it means you have good knowledge of geology okay so you you are coming to this stage means all of you are are good and you all have some base knowledge okay but now mains is entirely different temperament different uh, strategy you need and you need different skills also so you need to develop for example answer writing skills you have to learn to stay time bound okay sometimes you should not be writing five pages for a 10 mark answer okay so those things are very important and in uh, you 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 have to keep that in mind but remember that here it will what will matter is how well you are able to maintain this intensity for the next 3 and a half months okay so you have to be in top gear throughout this 3 and a half months and this will have this will this is what will reward you in the exam okay you have to go through that intense preparation okay let's say by chance you are not able to clear this year this phase which you go through like intense preparation in these months it will always help you in life okay so this is what uh, you have to keep in mind yes thank sir i just i just want to add that like uh, we have got a lot of messages about people who who like thinks that they are on boundary line right in terms of prelims cut off so like what i want to say is that uh, uh, for whenever we have this exam jahan pe there is one two and three stages Like this time, just after prelims, irrespective कि आपका clear होगा, whether you will clear prelims or not, this is the time which you should devote only for mains exam, right? If you really want to clear this exam, if not this year, then next year. So even if you are, you know, if, even if you are scoring low, some, suppose you are scoring only one twenty, hundred marks, and you you think that you might not clear, these four five months should exclusively devoted for mains preparation. ठीक है, जो mains का syllabus है, उसको prepare करिए, mains के point of view से. बिकॉज आप मेंस का प्रिपेयर कर लोगे तो आपका प्रिलिम्स भी बेटर हो जाएगा राइट सो आपका क्लियर होता है तो तो आपको लाइक सर सेट देर इज देर आर अराउंड थ्री एंड हाफ मंथ तो आप देख लो अभी से 115 दिन है तो लाइक व्हाट आई कैन से बेस्ड ऑन माय एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ मेंटरिंग एंड इवन माय ओन प्रिपरेशन फॉर सिविल सो की अगर आप अभी से लेके एग्जाम तक अगर एक दिन है अगर आप एक से एक दिन consistently pad pate ho right there can be break of 1 2 days in fact you should plan for break right 15 din aap padho aur uske baad ek din ka plan break lo otherwise aapka discipline kam ho jayega right so you need to be consistent agar aap 105 6 din bhi padhoge i can guarantee you ki you will get a rank right and this year the number of seats are also decently high they were also there last year also so ye hai ho sakta hai do teen saal baad fir taper off ho jaye seats so use this agar aap you if you get chance आप मेंस के लिए प्रिपेयर करिए और मेंस को इस बार आप निकालने की कोशिश करिए राइट और बहुत ऐसा भी नहीं चाहिए राइट प्रॉब्लम्स ऐसा है एमसीक्यू जो ऐसा मतलब साइंस बोलता है कि सम पीपल फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू सॉल्व एमसीक्यू और कोई भी एग्जाम के एमसीक्यू में ना हॉरिजॉन्टल वो बहुत चाहिए ब्रेड बहुत चाहिए होती है नॉलेज की क्लियर करने के लिए ऑल राइट ऑल इट इज रिलेटिवली ईजी Okay, I I'll I'll tell in English only. So, but for mains, you know, everybody can clear a subjective exam, right? Everybody can clear mains exam. So, with that confidence, you should start mains preparation only. Even if you are on borderline, even if you are sure that you might not clear, so devote these five six months only for mains preparation, right? Yes, uh, definitely. So it will help you uh, in your preparation, and as my answer said, even for like next years, some of your pre's, for example, gate, 
uh, GSI prelims, they, they're still there's still time for that. So you should take this window, okay, and you should try to intensely prepare for it because the notes that will be created during this time, okay, that that you're doing, they will always help you in whatever exam you are appearing in, and your prelims will also get better, your your gate will also get better, okay. So because you learn more during this time. GSI syllabus is more extensive. It, it it covers almost all the breadth of geology. Okay, nothing is left. Everything is, is, is covered here. Okay. Okay. So this year, as my answer said, the best thing is that we have a lot of vacancies. Okay. So you should have like full motivation to give give your best. Okay. I think it's almost double of last year, right? How many were there last year? 100? I saw like in the result, finally they, they sent result for almost 100 students. So it is more than double from last year. And then there are vacancies for hydrogeologists also, 26 vacancies. So uh, it, it, it is a golden opportunity this year. Okay, so you should not let, let, let basically your preparation down at any point of time. Again, taking planned breaks is, is not letting your preparation time. It is part of the strategy. Okay, and it is very, very important uh, to do it that way. Okay, so just a reminder, I think most of you already know by this stage. Okay, you have all like, close to clearing the prelim. So you have 400 marks for the stage one, which is basically 100 plus 300, 100 for GS and 300 for, uh, for, for your geology prelims. And then the 600 marks is for mains. Okay. So this 600 marks is for mains. Here we have seen, okay, like based on our poll results, maybe, uh, I don't know if I can I will try to share those also towards the end. Okay. Okay. So these, these uh, 600 marks, but we're seeing like people are scoring good marks also this year. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, sometimes the results tend to be biased. Okay. If you're not scoring good marks, people don't tend to answer those. Okay. But this is what, what our experience was based on last year's gate cutoff. Okay. So based on just like the poll, the uh, it, it seemed that cutoff would, would go very high. Okay. It did go high last year also, but uh, it was slightly lower than our expectation. Uh, then there is like personality test and interview exam, uh, interview, which is of 200 marks. And you'll see, like we'll do some marks analysis also that each and every stage of these plays a crucial role. Okay. So even if you don't score exceptionally, you score average in all three, you'll get through. Sometimes if you score exceptionally in, in one of these, that will also help you. Okay. So, uh, it, it's, it's kind of like, even if, like let's say your prelims or even like mains, even if they go average and you excel in interview, that, that can also help you. Okay. So uh, overall we have seen this, like how, how those marks are further divided. So you'll have three papers in geology, 200 marks each. You have already covered like paper one and paper two of the prelims stage. These marks will be counted. It's not just qualifying. So what you will score here will count towards your final score. Okay. So few marks distribution. So this was from 2020, for example. Uh, the marks distribution you can see here, uh, basically if you score in written exam, we, we saw score of 420 to 5, 520 for general, uh, and, and, and between 100 to 145 for interview. So there is a range in interview. Okay. You will see this range is almost as much as the range you will see in, in students who got selected. Okay. And similarly, uh, this, this combines basically general e e EWS and OBC categories. And you can see here for, uh, other categories, SCST, for example, uh, this, this was not like significantly lower. Okay. So there was a gap, but it is still 300 to 380 marks in written in total. Okay. So you, you have to do well, you have to prepare well in, in, in this exam. And this is this year's 2022 results were declared marks distribution. Okay. So you can see here the candidate who, who got the top rank. Okay. So in written test, it's 516 it is not the top marks. Okay. But it combined with interview. Okay. Gave rank one. Okay. Total of 656. Okay. So written test this 516 includes pre. Okay. Plus mains. Okay. Now we don't have basically a uh, split between these. But in pre, we have seen the toppers last year, they definitely would have scored more than 220. So even if let's say someone scores high in, so this is definitely more than 200. Okay. Here, uh, if, if you're a good student, you're scoring good in, in mains exam, you're also expected to be at least near the, not exactly at the top, but, but within like, let's say top few percent. 
so so definitely would have scored like around 200 so this this score would have been close to 300 in return okay so it, it it has to be it can be a little bit less or little bit more than this also depending on your pre-score okay but you can see overall what will be the range okay we see some very high marks okay in in the written test and let's see basically and again ultimately here the rank okay whether you get a job or not okay it will depend on your marks okay ultimately so we can see here uh, for let's say general category okay so here you can see 445 okay so if you're scoring let's say 200 in your combined geology and and mains so you just needed like 245 here in return okay and also it, it depends on like these marks also so for example anamika so this is actually ews category anamika got like 478 marks so you need 278 here but she got like very less marks in personality test so she had to make up it uh, make up in in the written test part but you can see here the range if you get like 300 marks out of 600 in the mains okay your your chances of clearing the exam are very high for for that okay and then if you're from obc or ews categories you can see here uh, this this is not hugely different it is still 439 so again assuming like if you're scoring 200 in those courses combined you will need 239 okay what it also tells you is you can get as high as more than 300 okay in in there even if you are let's say scoring 180 in pre combine okay so if you sc score let's say 300 here okay so that that will give you a score of 480 at which score oh, sorry five It will give you a score of 480 okay which will also make you qualify and remember this is with half the number of seats okay so you can see here this is with 98 students were selected that year okay so this year uh depending on like how the pre cutoff goes okay uh but but just like based on last year's trend how much you will have to score in 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 mains okay if you separate out the pre part so it it will have to be uh, some, close to somewhere 300 close to that 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 number but it can be as low as 245 okay but your target should be 300 so that you can comfortably cross the line okay i will not go through the syllabus extensively okay just just to remind you that in total okay what what are the subjects that 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 you have to cover okay you will already have decent idea of many subjects especially things like structural geology igneous metamorphic there are some things in gsi mains which are asked which are not asked like in other exams but trust me if you prepare those things right now okay it will help you in all other exams okay maybe they are not asked so frequently in gsi pre but they they may be asked in your you are preparing for bark exam they may be asked in uh, assistant geologist exam okay so this is the syllabus that physical geology and remote sensing are combined so basically your landforms part geomorphology and all so they are they are all combined in, in this section a of paper one which is a little bit similar to what you have in uh, civil services as well but here of course the syllabus is more okay some of these also you'll find in geotectonics okay so for example uh, earth's internal structure all those things you have to study from geochemistry perspective also okay so there will be some overlap between subjects also okay and then there is this remote sensing okay so for remote sensing so you for for planet geology all all these topics you can very easily find in in the course okay and again one thing that you have to keep in mind is because the syllabus is extensive and time limit there is time limit okay uh and and each of you would be at slightly different stage of preparation as i said some of you would have like let's say last last year also you appeared in mains okay so you would already have a lot of notes a lot of material okay where you need to fill in the gaps and you need to practice more okay some of you would be somewhere in middle and somewhere would some of you would be like you're you're starting your mains preparation for the very first time okay so uh the the, the same strategy will not work for everyone okay so we and, and and the time is not sufficient that we can start having like live classes from now and then try to finish it in three uh, within three months okay because because of this 
short time frame okay so you 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 will have to slightly each like adjust your uh, your preparation strategy according to your personal needs at this stage okay uh so for example just taking example of this uh, this uh, remote sensing course for example many of you would have already prepared it for gsi prelims also okay so you would already have some notes but let's say you don't have notes about this landsat irs spot characters what to write in this part okay you don't know where to cover this so you should like try to fill in this gap because if you analyze previous year papers there will be one one question definitely i think last year if they asked irs this year they will try to ask landsat or spot characteristics okay so you should try to fill in those gaps uh, electromagnetic spectrum okay they asked question also in prelims this year i think most of you would already know about it so no need to spend like making notes extensive notes for this okay is is there voice issue coming for everyone or or just uh, a week i think no sir it's clear it's audible yes. it's it's audible okay then so basically uh, that that is what i'm saying like electromagnetic spectrum now you don't need to create like extensive notes for this okay you you already prepared for it you should know the values for example like on top you should definitely write it in your notes but your notes for this part should be short okay it should be very very short just that 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 table of, of electromagnetic spectrum what those are and a little bit also about use of those okay but but you should not spend too much time similarly electromagnetic bands in remote sensing one table would do okay for these spectral signature of maybe this you did not study for prelims okay so for example for this you should have one one page notes for each of these okay and and then if you already have those notes you should try to prepare short notes okay so short notes would be just like draw diagram of spectral signature of soil how will it look okay like this okay similarly for vegetation you can draw so just draw those diagrams and label this peak so you can draw short notes also okay even if like uh, don't don't try to prepare actually too extensive notes also otherwise it will become difficult to uh, memorize in exam uh, so uh, memorize for the exam uh, and and revise those th th that that stuff okay so don't try to create very extensive notes but but somewhere like for example those things which i have not studied try to create some for uh, some for these okay so and then for example the uh, then there is like paper one itself covers a lot of core subjects okay then there is structural geology sedimentology sedimentology is also pretty extensive okay so you have to study about all those uh, sedimentary textures uh, depositional features joule storm diagram entrainment velocity the fluid mechanics part of it a little bit that is there a classification of sedimentary rocks and then basically go through this this part which which comes like which you may not have studied in more detail before for example this facies and facies model now there are like quite a few in here okay there is an extensive list fluvial glacial deltaic silicic clastic shallow and deep marine okay so in total basically 1 2 3 4 5 you have to study similarly carbonate platforms you have to study so prepare notes for these okay what at like those if 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 you are interested in planet geology course those who will join you will find this content okay on the course platform okay in in the same format that we discussed so some of it will be in hand notes format okay some of it will be in slides format now when you what what that hands as, as i told it is not possible to create for entire course those those hand notes based on slides basically how you have to write answers but that will provide because there will be slides also associated with that okay so it will provide you uh, a, a guide how to write your answer okay based on this slide content you don't have to write each and everything that is there in slides slides are sometimes for explanation purposes okay so we have to give more details sometimes if you are showing image you cannot draw that picture in 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 the uh, paper okay so go through those we will also share okay some last years for example toppers copies also answers how they have written those answers in exams okay so we had some test series students also okay so so in toppers how they used to structure their answers okay so please go through those uh, that 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 part also okay then paleontology i think a lot of you would have already covered this it is uh, not not very different from uh, the pre most of you would have prepared these different fossil groups okay and uh, it's it's just like through evolution of life and evolution in proboscidae 
equidae hominidae this evolutionary part also you have at least studied for gate also in gate it is there or for gsi prelims okay similarly stratigraphy also okay so it is uh, basically given to you so stratigraphy course is entirely in handwritten format maybe just one or two slides will be there so that will be pretty uh, handy for you if you if you join the course okay so this stratigraphy course is almost entirely in handwritten format and most of the topics that are written here are are covered okay a uh, few of those will be basically uh, for example bundelkhand is not there in handwritten format for those slides will be shared but most of like 80% of this is in handwritten format okay so this is pretty core even paper 2 is pretty core okay mineralogy geochemistry and isotope okay so here sometimes you will find some overlap also between uh, let's say if you start start studying geotectonics mineralogy okay so we will provide here question answer format for example for entire for uh, many optical mineralogy okay topics we will provide hand notes format also and as well as those will be discussed discussed from slides uh in 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 video lectures also and another thing is you don't have to go through entire video lectures okay your video lectures will be in pre recorded format okay so just to like serve the needs of each and everyone it is not possible now to go through live lectures okay because if if we are now in live lectures teaching about uh basically let's say bivalve morphology that will be a waste of time for some of you maybe for some of you it is useful okay so you you cannot adjust your own preparation regarding that so in uh mineralogy also we will provide so for example for all these topics okay so optical mineralogy so for example you will provide hand notes for 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 most of these okay so and and also in question answer format type so you can you can practice those uh and, and that will also help you basically we, we we did that because we found like optical mineralogy answer sometimes you can understand the concept you can understand what is pleochloric chloride chloride uh, pleochloroism uh, sorry for for <laughs> okay so pleochloroism yes i don't know it, it it felt like a tongue tongue twister so yeah pleochloroism sign of elongation interference figure so you you may understand the concept but sometimes it is difficult to basically structure in exam okay sometimes they ask tricky questions also okay a quartz grain is appearing yellow okay or sometimes it is always extinct why is that the case okay so how so, so sometimes you may think like okay i can i can answer that in one line okay maybe it is parallel to c axis but then you have to write a 10 mark answer for it how do you structure that answer so those kind of things we found like in in in, in mineralogy they are a little bit uh, uh, tricky so so we we are providing hand notes for this then there is geochemistry and isotope geology also here here also it will be, be part hand notes part uh, it will be part hand notes and part slides material okay igneous petrology metamorphic petrology same part hand material part uh, uh, part through slides okay so again paper 2 is uh, pretty i would say extensive okay here the geodynamics part okay so a lot of it if you look at upsc civil services paper that is covered as part of physical geology also but here it is a separate course okay so here also we will provide uh, sufficient hand notes for 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 this part okay uh, there there sufficient hand notes for this so that you can basically structure your answers here also we will provide some question and answers also in 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 this topic so you can practice from that part as well uh, we will discuss okay uh, few previous year questions also so for for example from igneous and metamorphic petrology also okay but uh, there will not be extensively like hand notes for 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 this particular part okay so uh, because now you have to if you have to draw you, have, you will have to practice drawing those phase diagrams yourself and also uh, basically in igneous you will see like these these different rock types so for these okay some of these hand notes will be provided some of these will be covered through slides okay now paper 3 is where many students face a little bit of difficulty okay so uh, again we have these economic geology classes okay that that have been taken by previous years okay gsi who 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 are able to clear gsi okay so uh, we and 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 are now working so these are recorded materials from old lectures okay so you will get access to these as well uh, economic geology indian mineral deposits and mineral exploration also mineral exploration again will be extensively in hand hand written format as well okay and don't ignore these parts okay F fuel geology engineering geology environmental geology and natural hazards actually these are 
these will not take huge time okay so these will you you will have to basically uh, go through these okay many times student ignore this part that they have not covered it but it is very very important to cover this part uh, questions are not very difficult okay that are asked from this part and it will also help you to basically you do better than than Question others than, than okay other. so right now these courses some some of this content you may not find because now we have still have three and a half months so some of the content will be added on the course yeah, portal not get each and everything in one go okay it will be added to the portal and then you will get everything okay so again this is a crash course this is not a full course okay so some some parts you may have to cover on your own but a lot of material you will what what we have to give okay more than what actually you can cover we, we, we will give it basically one month before the exam okay. yes, yes. anish uh, please uh, and mute yourself right okay anything to add man sir here no no i think sir okay. you have covered most of the thing right okay so the time table again 25th june geology paper 1 okay in the forenoon session afternoon session uh, geology paper 2 and then next day 26th june geology paper 3 okay so for paper 3 you will have basically one day to revise also if you want to in, in, in that time period okay. <coughs> I, so i just want to add one thing uh, yes. right jaise ki like some people are also asking uh, is gate course or gate gate a uh, notes uh, sufficient right obviously geology is mostly the same concepts are same so they will be useful right but one thing like you should realize is that uh, now your prelims is over your gate is over your gsi prelims is over right now you need to shift your you know shift your temperament right there we to succeed to top in such exam you need a different temperament for mcq exam right you you need different sets of notes uh, but this is you know your subjective examination This is a competitive subjective examination, which is time bound. So, in this case, the the most important prerequisite to success is first thing is you should have your own notes, right? You should have your own notes for GSI prelims, for you know gate. You can you know even read slides and you know uh, you can read books. You 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 can you can avoid making notes and even then you can succeed, right? But for this. to succeed you need to have your own notes right even sir will be giving you a lot of notes a lot of them would not might not be downloadable so you will have to make your own notes that is very very important to succeed in competitive exam right so your gate thing will help you right but i think you will have to revamp right it is like a different mountain so you cannot you are already if you have cleared gate you are at a peak of uh, of a mountain now you want to come to a peak of another mountain you you need to descend and then you need to ascend again right so that ascending by i by ascending i mean you you be need to make your own notes so th those different right for gate suppose you are reading paleontology so well, they can ask any random fossil they can write any random member of a you know vertebrate in invertebrate but here the syllabus is fixed dimensions are fixed right so here you need to write those things which you can reproduce right one thing i i want to tell you is that a few of you might like right the examiner when he will get your copy he don't know how talented how hard working you are what is the family background how much you know you need job all those thing right you might be even a microsoft uh, you know uh, uh, person google person but the only thing which will determine your success and the marks he give is what you write right so you know to able to write you know effectively in this exam you need your own notes you need to revise them at least four to five times right and notes should not be you know notes should be in a way which you can mug it up you can memorize it five to six times and for for, to, for doing that you need to simplify them so i believe that uh, when i used to prepare for gate or you know for other objective examination my objective notes were very 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 robust right they were very comprehensive which i don't think i could memorize it right and reproduce in exam for mains you always need to simplify right so jo bhi tumhare notes the gate ke if you will read just keep reading those for next 100 uh, 110 days then you will find trouble in exam so you need to revamp right they might be helpful but you need to revamp you need to make your own notes right the temperament the approach should change so this yes. is one thing uh, uh, i wanted to add right yes 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 you have to change so and in terms of sufficiency also syllabus coverage also it may not be everything may not, it may not be sufficient you may need to cover some additional uh, things also but it does provide you a base you understand things okay it is a good thing you have gone through it okay so for example in paleontology you don't need to memorize those names again 
ओके यू नो लाइक देर इज अ थिंग लाइक डेंटिशन इन बायोल देर इज हाइसो डोंट हिप्सो डोंट हेट्रो डोंट यू हैव हर्ड दीज टर्म्स ओके बट इन गेट यू डिंट लर्न टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम ऑफ आइसो डोंट ओके सो हियर इफ यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम ऑफ आइसो डोंट दैट इज अ डिफरेंट अगेन बेसिकली स्किल यू हैव टू डेवलप ओके डिफरेंट प्रिपरेशन यू हैव टू डू एंड अगेन दैट 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 बेस यू ऑलरेडी हैव just the thing is you have to revamp your preparation and you have to be in this mains mode now and you have to practice writing okay if if someone just watches youtube videos reads notes of swimming okay and if you throw him in the pool do you think he will be able to swim you have to do the swimming part also yourself and here answer writing okay in in exam is is a skill okay you have to practice also sometimes give papers okay maybe that same question will not come but you will know how to time yourself how to write answer how much long do you need maybe you are because sometimes you have to cut short also your content okay maybe you studied it for 20 mark question it came in 10 marks so how do you basically condense it so those things you will develop because you you don't want to waste time also okay uh, so okay so moving on to 2022 cut off so you can see here for stage 1 it was 171 for general and ews categories and for uh, obc it was 169 and then you will see like for sc it was less but uh, if you'll see their main scores it main score is is not that different this this like cut off simply okay so mains you have to do well and overall like for for stage 2 out of 1000 like students who got the interview call okay so 408 was the cut off okay so 408 was the cut off so you can expect that this year for example if you are scoring 200 okay and you score basically or i'm just taking 200 as an, as an example some of you might score less also because that's easy calculation so if you are scoring let's say 200 so if you are scoring let's say in in mains 200 and 220 you can expect a call for the interview at least okay and the final cut off out of 1200 which includes personality test score as well was 577 okay so that was 577 and then you can see here for different categories okay so 524 536 okay so you'll see that 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 in mains irrespective of which category you are in you have your your score should will go around like 300 that that should be your target score to comfortably cross the line basically 2 250 to 300 250 is like minimum requirement okay this is i think the same slide 445 and 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 you know yeah. this is like 300 is just 50% mark and yeah. out of 600 so like if you are able to attempt all the question which you can do if you cover the whole syllabus and write you know decent right you don't have to be exceptional wah pe koi aisa nahi hai ki book ke diagram bana dena right if you make proper diagrams and you, you can write you know, normal things you will definitely get 50% marks and if you are and you are writing few answers even 30% exceptionally you will get somewhere around 60% you can be among the topper right so it is not that difficult just cover the entire syllabus make your notes right from wherever source from the course which lawrence sir is giving or other place and mug it up multiple times right i i would recommend at least 5 to 6 revision if you are able to do this you will definitely score well right and then the final thing the ultimate thing is answer writing right so practice your answer writing maybe write some test somewhere or maybe practice some of the mcq uh, previous questions right uh, pyqs and you can see here uh, this was 2022 okay with 39 vacancies for general total there were 100 vacancies okay so this year vacancies are more than double in comparison to last year okay so that that thing also you keep in mind uh 2020 this was should be one okay so where there were like only 20 seats and there were just nine seats here okay so the cut off was higher 595 okay so you can see here it it dropped by what just like 10 20 marks okay difference you'll find on average so this year also like if you're doubling this this went from 5 times 20 to 100 okay maybe sometimes this you can expect students were also not that motivated and then it could be like sometimes there is uh, there might be some uh, normalization in score also okay if you're talking about especially uh, the the main score but usually that happens in subjects where students are writing different exams okay we don't know like exactly what upsc is doing but you can see here it just did drop so it but but not by too much so this year also if your seats are doubling you can expect maybe it may remain the same if students do too well in the prelims exam okay now because they have had like these 3 years of pyqs also to prepare from 
which earlier students they didn't have 2021 they had just like maybe one year okay they were appearing in the first so this time you know like how to strategize you do pyq so students will tend to score a little bit more so it it you can expect it to be somewhere around this number only okay and as you'll also see in topper score you'll see a lot of variations but then once you go a little bit like below that that top marks a lot of students will be there within that 10 mark range okay so at this it will it should not drop a lot okay maybe like it 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 can go around let's say 570 or so but you don't expect it to drop too much okay and 2020 cutoffs okay sorry this was for a hydrogeologist okay this this is 2020 cutoff okay 2020 cutoff was was significantly higher because there were only 16 seats so for hydrogeologist based on 20 seats it was 595 which is not very different this was for 2022 only that was my bad okay this is 2021 cutoff okay so for geology it it was significantly higher because of the less number of seats that year okay and and especially it was i think prelims cutoff was also pretty high 211 and prelims paper in 2021 was way easier than i found uh not not in 2021 2020 was way way easier but but you can see here prelims cutoff was pretty high okay and and this cutoff minimum even if you score like the cutoff marks you needed 300 marks here okay and then 2020 cutoff where you had a total of 79 seats okay so that year prelims cutoff was was very low because it was being held for the first time okay so i i think 2020 paper was easier lot easier for for gs also for for geology also but this reflects that students had not been able to see any uh, pyqs to 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 prepare for their answers okay but overall cut off you can you, you see was around 574 okay so this year you can expect like lowest it can go is probably 560 based on like higher number of seats but you can see here when when seats tend to go towards like 100 mark so basically you can see here the seats increased in comparison to 2020 okay in in 2022 but but the cut off is still higher even with higher seats okay so don't expect the cut off to go too low this year okay all right so these are our results from the 2022 okay uh, geoscientist examination so which was just released okay so these are our last batch students okay and and uh, they basically we have seen like pretty good results and you you have to keep in mind that we have been here like just just for 3 years okay so we we the some of these were enrolled in the full year course okay some of them uh, were were enrolled in the in the crash course that we started later on okay and also we have like extensive experience in like for for these subjective type examinations because we have been mentoring uh, csc and and ifs students as well and we have done like exceptionally well okay even a lot better than than even in uh, geology in 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 that domain okay so question paper i think we'll uh, skip for the time being okay so i we can share these slides and you can go through those question papers as well just one thing if you are not aware i think most of you would be aware of this already so for each paper what you will have is you will have these different sections a b c d e and f okay usually they will be uh, between different subjects okay so this is compulsory okay so these five mark answers you have to attempt all of them okay so you should target like maybe one page answer for this because there's just like five marks okay these are compulsory means you have to attempt all of these okay you have to attempt this question you cannot skip this question okay so this is compulsory then out of all these sections a b c d e and f you have to attempt only one question okay so you can skip one question you have to attempt one question okay so for example you can out of these you have to attempt one of those be careful in an exam okay sometimes students have committed they they start writing writing this and then they see next question they write this also i've seen some students complain about that also okay similarly for section c you have to prepare between these two okay so usually you can see here uh, they are divided into either you can attempt 215 mark answers or 10 mark answers okay three which which will be three two three that is how they are divided okay so so this, this this is what it looks like for all of these okay so for example i was telling you optical mineralogy so if you have to write about optical indicators what do you write 
Okay, so for optical mineralogy, we have those like question answer format <coughs> and notes also. Okay, so this is what what it 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 is for for all these three papers. Okay, and you will also notice. Okay, so that for example, if if it's phosphorite silica system lamprophyte, so if this question is of igneous, this is also of igneous. So they will be from same subject. Okay, so you cannot like just skip one subject altogether. saying like maybe i will just not attempt from this subject okay so you you will have to attempt from each subject some some questions uh it, it it's it's the thing is like you you may be able to skip uh one 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 of those questions in exam okay all right like uh so this is all i have from slides okay any questions we can like open it up for the students right uh, you yes. can ask your doubt for next 5 to 10 minutes right hello sir hello nand uh, sir what should be the cut off mark uh, for prelims exam this year okay so could you I've, please predict i have seen this question being asked many times so i will show you like what we can tell you for gate like we conducted this poll last year so i i have a little bit idea about like will i'll conduct it for this year also now that answer is there basically based on this how the poll results and final results are correlated okay so this is the first time we are doing it for gsi prelims okay but you can see here okay sorry this is not for gsi pre okay i copied wrong from the telegram group okay i'll find it uh, just give me a moment and then we can discuss it based on that in the meantime are there any other questions by the time i try to locate that poll hello sir hello uh sir uh, uh, mains test is uh, is included in the crash course or we have to pay uh, extra the test series is not included right bank sir yes a test yeah. series is not included right because we also don't have capacity to check you know hundreds of copies yeah. in that way so it is a different course you can avail to it if you want to right uh, it is not included in the poll it, yeah basically okay, you, sir, you can write you. answers okay so for example you can uh, uh, if if let's say we we give you some compilation of questions you can write your own answers and practice it okay even if you are not going through test series you will have like decent idea uh, what to write so most most important is just to like learn how to just like move your pen through the exam when you are writing those answers one that is one thing and then how to recollect how to draw diagrams those things okay so those things you can practice on your own or, or, as well okay. Yes, sir. And one more thing is that those who join the course, right? We also make a private Telegram group, right, of all the enrolled students. Yeah. So you can post your answers, right? You can practice some MCQ, uh, PYQ, and post it there. We can give our comments sometimes. Sometimes you know there could be peer reviews. So there is a you know, group of dedicated students who are uh, so in that way also you can have some answer practice, writing practice, right? Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. So regarding cutoff, so this is the poll that we had. Okay. so you can see here uh, it looks a little bit like normal distribution definitely uh, there is there will be some bias in it okay depending on like what kind of profile our profile is not representative the groups were on students okay there it, it it's not representative of basically the students in the entire country okay so maybe i expect like usually students are in the group they they will score like this this distribution in in real world okay for actual it may look something like this slightly on the lower mark side okay but but you can see here this is what we had uh the total number of students okay in the, in the poll who answered this poll are 565 okay so that is a pretty significant number okay so uh but but the thing is we we don't know like how how far we have done it in the, we have not done it in the past okay so if it is if if there is bias uh, how much bias is there okay depending on the real score but you can see here the peak okay the mode value is 140 to 160 marks okay so you can revise your concepts also of statistics using this but the peak the mode value is 140 to 160 so that is where the bulk of students based on this poll are are scoring okay in the real world i expect it will be somewhere here it's slightly lower than this uh so you can see here there are still students 5% okay of this so at least basically you can see 30 students were scoring above 200 okay so if if there are 200 seats okay so they will call for uh mains examination okay so uh 
ultimately in mains basically how how much do you think will be writing mains if the interview is 3 to 1 ratio okay 600 700 may be writing mains okay so if you take again I, i'm not like really sure about what's the ratio is but if you assume so 3 is to like for every three student they will select one so there will be 1800 which may who may qualify the prelims okay so there is still a significant number so this is like stage 1 will be qualified by these many students then they, these will go to stage 2 these will go to stage 3 so there is a still a significant number who will qualify stage 1 okay so i expect like based on these poll results you can see here there are significant number of students now within 160 to 180 range okay so because there are more number of seats and students are scoring good marks i expect like the cut off is not likely to go below what we saw last year okay it it could be like around 177 and it could go a little bit higher also okay it could be a little bit higher also because you see a significant bulk within this mark range 160 to 180 okay so that is where like the i i think the 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 cut off will be but again i i cannot predict it this year because for gate i know a little bit idea that that these results are a little bit higher on the higher side than then you would see uh, yeah. not 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 on this side okay really so here students are there but but on this side they they tend to be a little bit on the higher side mm. okay so mm. but i think i think uh, like ha yes 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 sir continue i think this is this should be uh, uh, somewhere around that one right see yeah. we we uh, whatever we talks here uh, that will all speculation so i think we have talked enough on cut off and uh, there is no point on talking yeah. it right if you are scoring anything around 160 you should start uh, right there is yes. no point of wasting time in that right and yes this is, uh, somebody is asking about this uh, b- minimum cut off min- something like that so see i am not aware of this i have not gone through in detail about the notification but what i know is that for upsc examination you have to score at least 10% marks in all the paper right this is standard throughout the all the exam so for general studies it should be at least 10 marks you should yes. score otherwise your marks will not uh, matter right but somebody shared with me a snapshot that last year it was increased to 15% right so based on that i i told 15% but i am not sure you have to recheck yourself Right or maybe I'll check and let you know. I, but yeah. it it has to be somewhere between ten to fifteen, right? I think Earlier, one was, year it was ten, and then one year it was fifteen. So yeah, yeah. But I think this is said before, right? It is yes. not decided after the exam. So whatever it is, it it should be included in the notification itself, right? So that is yes. uh, there. Sir, yes. Uh, sir, no. live classes on the regular basis or alternate, and how how long it, uh, it will take time. No, like like sir said that there are there are not many live classes. Bhoti kam raengi. Mostly it is a pre-recorded uh, pre-recorded classes pre- or notes milengi apko. So there will be there will not be many live classes because live classes se syllabus cover kar nahi sakte itne jaldi abhi. So a lot of things apko pehle se abhi mil jayega. Seventy eighty percent course uh, already apke portal pe raengi and jo thoda bhot bacha raengi it will be added in due course, right? So there will not be live classes like you had for gate and GSI. Right, it will mostly be pre-recorded, right, Lawrence? Ah, uh, it will be pre-recorded. And Akash, you are old student. You, would, I think, have already covered a lot of these things uh, also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, so few. Uh, it's it's mostly like sometimes students in the end they they find like hard to basically go through all the books to find all the material. Okay. So, for example. uh they they may find hard to we're discussing about remote sensing some of those irs spot characteristics from where to prepare that particular topic so a lot of time is wasted just in like understanding where to prepare that okay so now it has to be a little bit like more effort from your own sides that that content is there okay sometimes i don't need i i already appeared in gate gsi prelims exam i don't need to study through uh basically electromagnetic spectrum i don't have to go through that video lecture okay so you you just go through those notes what notes will you prepare maybe uh in 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 structural geology okay i i don't know how to write an answer on fault related folding what is a fault propagation fold okay now that could you can could consider an advanced topic okay but anticline syncline is a simple topic okay so there is so much variation so what you can do is for example because these are per subject wise you will have courses in your portal so you can go to that that part and ca say that like yes for this i need to go through video lecture i don't understand this concept you you will not be able to watch all video lectures in this time frame okay you you have to be very very like planned what what you need to do and you should try to basically cover okay 
for some difficult subjects you take one week to cover or basically try to cover two subjects per week that way you you will basically be prepared way ahead of time okay sometimes if it is a very difficult subjects you could spend one week also on that whole subject okay so you'll see 5 5 3 15 subjects are there and 15 topics are there in 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 your syllabus okay and you have roughly 15 weeks from now on until exam okay so if you do one one subject per week then you will have no time for revision so you will have to let's say if you want uh one month for revision so you'll have to cram some sometimes two subjects in one week okay so try to prepare it that way and again you cannot watch all video lectures of structural geology within 3 days that will not be possible and that will be just like uh, you if you want you can like just in number of hours it may be possible but uh, it 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 you, you will not be able to then retain a lot out of it okay so that is how you should uh, that, that is how you, you 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 can utilize this course okay those who think like uh who have like a different plan in mind okay if you want to go through like each and every live lecture that course will not be for you then okay okay like uh, somebody is also is right and uh, right uh, asking about answer writing and also like yes you need to draw flow charts and diagrams right, right? so ultimately the person you will, uh, will who will be checking a copy will be you know 55 to 60 year old person a professor may be a senior professor so like if you will give his eyes a pleasure right if you if you, if you will not give too much stress to his eyes while checking your copies he will give you more marks so obviously uh, diagrams flow charts they are appreciable right they will give you more marks and right, you should think when you were doing your bsc or msc there might be person in your class who were the topper right so they were the topper they might be topper because of many reason but definitely one of the reason might be their answer writing skill right the way they used to write so you should you know replicate try to you know improve your answer writing things and in the course i think we will share few of the copies of test series of the student who wrote last year and got rank right right so we will be sharing those so you can also go through those copies and maybe you know learn something out from them like i have shared the link of the course right you can go through it right yes and is it does have some discount for old student yes. right there is a link you can go through it right and amar has a question when should one start mock test mock test i think because you are not like uh, appearing for the first time you can start it from the first week itself okay so from the first week itself we can start writing answer answer writing is the main key you most of you are, will be there for after clearing prelims or at least you have got like uh one if you are here you would have got like 150 160 marks minimum in prelims that is also that that you know significant about geology so your answer writing mock writing practice sh should start from the first day itself or let's say at least first week okay it it, it should not wait there should be no waiting period for that sir yes akash sir for mock test uh for example first we have to uh, pre uh, like uh, uh, prepare for one subject and then giving the uh, test for that subject like, like that or if uh, if i am not prepared yes. for fully no, for the no, one try subject try to prepare try to prepare before mock exam but as i said like because you now have to prepare like 3 days one week one subject if you are prepared for 3 days after 3 days you should write that exam okay so that is why it is there is no time okay maximum like you can say is 3 days okay so if you prepare let's say uh, your structural geology course okay you should spend 3 4 days preparing it and on fourth day you should write your test okay regarding that or if it is like again that is that is more for like your self practice now for a test series okay so it will for test series will include some subjects combined it will not be only on structural geology so for that you can take a little bit more time okay maybe you can take like a, a week or 10 days and then write like uh write that part but even before you write your mock test okay so you do test practice also okay so for example if you are appearing in test series so to appear in test series you are not practicing question only in test series you prepare questions before you go to test series also so some answers even before you are trying to appear in test so mock some some answer you should write yourself also okay even if it is not a test Okay, got it. So, when will you launch a test series uh, course? 
टेस्ट सीरीज में भी मयंक सर कैन इलेबोरेट ऑन दैट लिटिल टेस्ट सीरीज इज एक्चुअली अवेलेबल राइट सो वी आई विल शेयर द लिंक इन द ग्रुप इन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप मे बी टुमारो बाय टुमारो इवनिंग आई इट इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल एंड इट इज ऑलरेडी लाइव लाइक फ्यू ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैव एनरोल्ड फॉर इट ऑलरेडी सो इट इज अप एंड लाइव राइट यस ओके and then there is one question assistant geologist exam yes i have got that question many times so for assistant geologist exam you should just be like how you prepared for pre okay you have to be in that mode only revise your pre notes okay maybe solve previous year assistant geologist exam papers okay uh, solve gsi pyq papers so just keep solving questions there is nothing separate extra that you have to do okay uh, just just focus on that part only okay just extension of your pre preparation only and some of the things that you will study for mains they will help you in assistant geologist exam also but for assistant geologist exam right now the only thing that will help you is uh, is uh, basically uh, continue is is question practice mcq question practice and then some 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 things you can do is when you are preparing for mains okay so some of the things that are in mains maybe try to prioritize first uh, which which let's say when you give gsi prelims exam those things didn't go well okay maybe you found like in in certain topics uh you in in certain topics you 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 didn't do as well you thought you, there is some knowledge gap so for mains also you try to prepare those topics first that will help you in assistant geologist exam as well okay Okay, so if there is there are no more question, we can end the session here, right? Yes. All right, everyone. So thank you for joining the session. Okay, I have to go for now some some appointment right now. Okay, so.